What's up everybody? In this video I'm going to show you how you can use hairspray to create realistic wear and paint chipping on your model. For the purpose of this tutorial I will overdo the chipping so I can better demonstrate the different effects. First of all I apply Mr. Surfacer Black Primer. Next comes a layer of silver or aluminum paint. If you're not sure how tough is your paint, apply a clear coat over it. Next I decant some hairspray, so I can apply it using an airbrush. Unfortunately it is hard to see where the hairspray goes on the silver paint, so you have to be aware. Next I apply the primer color. I believe that it is necessary to use acrylic paint, but I am not 100% sure. If you wish to do a single state chipping, then this should be your chemicolor. Now I can start making different effects. Using water to activate the hairspray and toothpick to remove the upper layer, I create small paint chips where the paint is supposedly knocked off. When I am done with the chipping, I let the area dry and then I remove the paint debris with a brush. Here I am using an old fine tip brush with the tip cut so I can do some larger scale paint damage. The brush has to be cleaned up frequently in some water in order to prevent paint transfer to the metal finish. To simulate worn down paint I use soft flat brush and I rub the surface with the side of the brush. Here it is important to stop before the paint starts to peel off because there is no way back other than repainting. Here I use an airbrush to speed up the drying time. Once the paint is dry I clean up the area to remove any leftover paint. Here is another wear pattern. This time I use the modified brush and concentrate on the edges of the panels that see a lot of action. For those I want a gradual wear just on the edges. So here's the first stage done. You can see that we can achieve a lot of different things with one technique and different tools. To give the first stage some protection I apply a clear coat. I take picture of the details and later I will know exactly what I have under the next color. At the end of the video I will tell you why this is important. Next up is another coat of hairspray. This time it's much more visible, thus easier to apply. Next I apply the camouflage color, again in acrylic form. To get even coverage, I put a few coats of paint on the chipped areas first and then I cover the rest. Again using some water I am removing paint to reveal the desired amount of primer and bare metal. Using the modified brush I get gradual paint wear around the edges of the panels.
With the soft flat brush, I simulate broader gradual paint wear. Dragging a slightly damp stiff bristle brush along the airflow, I add more interesting effects. To get small chipping, I use toothpick. I keep the toothpick wet so I can activate the hairspray. If you want to get massive paint damage quickly, you can use the stiff bristle brush, but be careful as it is possible to get to bear plastic. And here is the reason why it is good to take picture after stage 1. If you forget to remove the paint from all the places you did in the first stage, you are going to end up with unleveled paint. To learn more scale modeling techniques, watch more of my tutorials. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy modeling!